in Britain, there is a very iconic thing. It's not the red buses. It's not the black cabs. It's not the London Eye. It's not the chavs themselves. It's what some chavs also drive. The Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> Now, my friends, we have a story to tell you today. Uh, if you could tell by the title, a uh, Vauxhall Corsa D's built a setting on fire. Now, this is nothing to be happy about. This is nothing to be happy about at all. I know a lot of people that are in my family and my I know friends that have Vauxhall Corsa D's. A lot of people have Vauxhall Corsa D's. And I don't understand why you have Vauxhall Corsa D's. You have any car in the world and you buy a fucking Corsa D. That's, that's when you've hit rock bottom there. My, I step back for a little second. I take that back. I, I retract that because um, I know a, a few nice people with Corsa D's. So... I apologize. If you watch UK YouTubers that somewhat like cars, even in the slightest, you'll know that most of them probably hate the Vauxhall Corsa. Why is that the case? Why do people hate the Vauxhall Corsa? We're going to talk about that in this video today. But first, let's talk about the actual stuff we need to talk about is the Vauxhall Corsa D is setting on fire. Why is it setting on fire? Well, it's an electronic malfunction. Something is corroding from using the heater too much, apparently, and causing a fire. This was a thing that actually happened to the Hummer H3. A little bit different, very much older, but the Corsa Ds are now setting on fire. So if you don't know what type of Corsa you have, and you have a Corsa, and you're worried it's going to set on fire, FUCKING SELL IT ANYWAY! People that are into, like, these lower-end cars may have heard in the news a while ago that the other Vauxhall car, a Zafira or Zafira, I don't know which one it is, but I like to call it a Zafira because, well, that also set on fire. <laughs> I don't know if that was the exact same reason, but they had a recall. I think they had a small recall of some diesel Corsas a while ago, but I don't think they have yet to say anything about the current Corsa. So I don't know if there's a mass amount of courses setting on fire or a small amount of courses setting on fire. But if honestly, my personal advice, if you have a Corsa, just don't don't use the heater. Don't use don't use it. Some of them don't come with a heater, I don't think. So just don't don't use it. If you chose the, the one without the heater, if that's an option, I don't know if it is. If you chose one without a heater, well you can just laugh at the people that have a heater, can't you? Brilliant. Why do people hate courses? I don't understand. I have a Corsa. I love me Corsa. What's wrong with it? If you love your Corsa, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I have a BMW and people hate BMW drivers that indicate the knobs, that sort of thing. And I, I believe I am one of those. I do indicate, but I am st I am a massive knob on the road. And I'm a knob to people that drive courses, apparently, as well. But I still love my BMW and I'm not going to go, oh, I'm not, I indicate. I, it's not bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna accept it because I know BMW drivers are knobs and I'm pretty sure you will know that a lot of chavs drive Vauxhall Corsa and they, oh, the best of the best. They drive the Vauxhall Corsa limited edition. And if you don't know what that means, it means it's white with black wheels. By limited, they mean there's like a billion of them on the fucking road then. Or you can just convert your current Corsa into a, into a special one. You just plasti dip the rims and you're good to go. Some stereotypes that go along with Corsa drivers then. So they are generally known to be chavs, okay? The the people that will drive up and down the seafront. If you live in a seaside town, you'll know about this. We'll drive up and down trying to pick up women. As if women will walk down the seafront at zero degrees temperatures looking for men in Corsas. Yes, that's exactly what women are looking for these days. Fucking brilliant idea. Oh, and if you hear revving in a car park in the distance, what's that revving? Those horrible, not nice, nice exhausts. Those absolutely horrible fart can exhausts that cost five pound from Halfords. What is that? Hmm, I can... Oh, it's a Corsa driver, obviously. Right, and he has a little turbo whistle on the back of his exhaust. His fart can exhaust that he bought from Halfords as well, probably. What's that? That's horrible loud music that sounds absolutely disgusting. It sounds like someone's about to blow up their speakers. Oh, that must be the Corsa driver over there. What's he doing? <laughs> Okay, Theo, I accept it. I am under those stereotypes. I'm a bit of a chav, honestly. I, I smoke the weed dickhead, fucking gay, fucking gay dickhead. 
con I fall into those categories, so what can I do to avoid my Corsa setting on fire? Well, there is a few things you can do. So, as I said, Corsa drivers like to drive up and down the seafront in their Vauxhall Corsas and play loud shite music. Well, as you know, if you don't use the heater, it might not set on fire. So, the next time you roll down the seafront, roll down your windows to play loud music that nobody likes and share it with the world. We don't really care about you. We don't want to listen to music. It's absolutely disgusting and we don't want to hear it. But the next time you consider doing that, don't. Do you know why? Because you want to put the heater on. Obviously, you put the heater on because you put the windows on because it's zero degrees. Stop putting your windows down and sharing your shit music. Well, my mum has a Corsa and she's not a chav. I hate people that are like this. I hate people that are like this. I told you, I, you don't have to fall under the stereotype of owning that car. I'm not, I don't go to the car and go, that's probably a chap. If that guy then revs and fucking floors it and, and like does like dr dr attempts to drift because they have no idea how, how fucking drivetrains work in their Corsa, then I'm going to assume that they're a chav then. I don't automatically see the car and go, oh, you chavy bastard. I do sometimes look at the car and think, oh, that that's a Corsa there. And then my brain goes, yeah, there's a lot of options that you could have got that are different that aren't Vauxhall Corsas. Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me why anyone that does any research whatsoever would end up with a Corsa. If you don't do any research, I assume that's what you end up with. Not to say, again, it's a bad car. A lot of the comebacks I receive when people when people say, I have a Corsa, how dare you insult Corsas? Well, they, they, they say, Oh, well, it's it's cheap to insure. Insurance is expensive in the UK, Theo. Not all of us can drive Lamborghinis. I know that for a fact because I bought a car in the UK. I've bought many cars in the UK. I say many, I've bought two. But uh, three, technically. Fucking Robin bastard. For example, you could get a Volkswagen Polo. A nice German car. How about a Volkswagen Golf? You can even get a Golf and insure it for cheaper. Why are you buying a Corsa? Like, I literally looked up, okay? Because I was looking up just, just for the curiosity and how much a Corsa C costs. This is an older Corsa, a Corsa C. How much did it cost to insure for me? I've been driving for not a year yet, so that's why it would be quite expensive still. But it costs to insure 1000 600 pounds to insure a Vauxhall Corsa that would have cost me about 300 quid and the on the advertisement It said comes with a fuel a full tank of fuel when it says it comes with a full tank of fuel on the advert You know for a fact that car's worth fucking jack shit. Hey, you got your first car I heard about that What car did you buy? I bought a Vauxhall Corsa even said on the advert comes with a full tank of fuel Bargain <laughs> there's a hell of a lot of options you'd go with for your first car and I think the, the end of it as to why new courses sell uh, and probably the old courses sold at the same time is because they're kind of, well, they're kind of cheap. Uh, they're not the nicest car. They're not the best option for that amount of money, that kind of thing. But they have good finance deals, I think. And that's why you see a lot of Fiat 500s. You see a lot of Vauxhall Corsas. You see a lot of BMWs, a lot of Audis, a lot of Audis, a hell of a lot of Audis, because their finance is apparently very freaking good. But at the same time, it's not saying that all the cars are bad. Except Corsa Ds, because now I have a reason I can say, oh, they set on fire. Now, that sounds, that's such a childish thing, isn't it? It's like, oh, I love the Ferrari 458. Well, you can't, because they set on fire once. So yeah, I just wanted to make a video on this topic, because... The Vauxhall Corsa is closely related to the channel, and uh, I thought it would be quite a fun video to really make. And, uh, well, I was right. It was quite a lot of fun to make this video. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and leave a like. It lets me know you want to see more of this kind of stuff. But, uh, basically, don't buy any more of Corsas, and, uh, and nobody will be upset about it, because... I don't know. Does does anyone like horses? Let me know in the comments if you like horses and if you if you do, why? Like why would you choose a horse over something else? Give me a valid reason, and maybe we'll 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 have a discussion. Until next time, guys. Pets don't buy horses. I've also had the spoiler put on, it was a red spoiler, 
Uh, but painted it blue. Not not a very good colour match, but it's best we could get. I have painted the fan things white to make it stand out. I've painted, painted the dash white at the top, blue radio. I've also got a Paul Walker tribute sticker there. Yeah, next thing, after this vlog, I'm going to do a vlog of getting the new alloy wheels, which will be tomorrow. But yeah, I'm getting some uh, Chrome BBS's 15 inch. Uh, 7J. Are you ready for this guys? This is just outside Jack, it's like a little leave that you pull up. That's it. Are you ready for this? This is gonna blow your socks off. Wow. See, look what a little spray paint can do. 